Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As the food of modern technology, the importance of chips is beyond doubt. However, the chip itself has a very high technical threshold and requires a complex and huge supply chain to support it. The United States and the West relied on their first mover advantage to master many core technologies and later restricted the shipment of advanced chips. Judging from the current public information, advanced process chips in many fields, including AI chips, memory chips, and CPU chips, are subject to export controls as are semiconductor equipment, semiconductor materials, etc. Not only that, the chip industry chain is very complex and huge. Producing a chip requires the cooperation of the upstream and downstream industry chains, as well as the support of many equipment and software tools. Under such circumstances, it is still very difficult to build a complete chip industry chain. It is precisely for this reason that when Kenning, president of Dutch lithography giant ASML, once said, no company or country can independently produce complete chips and create a complete chip industry chain. Even if there is, it will be very difficult. Difficulty But what people didn't expect is that China chip has now begun to break through. Not only that, judging from the latest public data from the International Semiconductor Industry Association, China's monthly production capacity has reached 8.6 million chips, accounting for 30% of the world's total chip production capacity, becoming a veritable champion. There is no doubt that with the strong demand in the Chinese market, the shipment of Chinese chips is not a problem at all, and Chinese chip manufacturers can also safely expand production capacity. According to previously disclosed information, China Chip currently has 42 wafer fabs and is expected to add 17 wafer fabs in 2024. The number of wafer fabs currently under construction is as high as 37. This also means that China's chip production capacity will further increase in the future. From 2020 to 2022, China's annual chip imports exceeded 400 billion US dollars, equivalent to approximately 2.8 trillion yuan. However, after entering 2023, China's chip imports have continued to decrease. In 2023, the total chip imports will be 479.5 billion, a decrease of 10.8%, and the import quota will reach 349.4 billion US dollars, a decrease of 15.4% year on year. According to data disclosed by relevant departments, starting from the last quarter of 2022 and ending in 2023, China has reduced the import of hundreds of billions of chips. Combined with China's increase in chip production capacity, there is no doubt that these vacant domestic chips are basically filled by domestic chips. There is no doubt that, especially in the field of mature process chips, 
the localization replacement rate of Chinese chips continues to increase. Not only that, the mature chips produced in China have now captured about 25% of the global market share and are still increasing. Even many companies in the United States and Europe have begun to use Chinese chips, which has also caused the United States and the West to become worried. So the United States conducted relevant investigations at the end of 2023, and the European Union has also recently expressed its intention to start an investigation. There is no doubt that today's Chinese chips have achieved breakthroughs in many fields and can even be said to have begun to break through. For example, in the field of artificial intelligence chips, many companies including Huawei, Cambrian, and Byron Technology Chinese GPU chip manufacturers have launched many AI chips with excellent performance. Some domestic AI chips even have performance levels close to NVIDIA's H100 in certain fields, such as image processing. In the field of memory chips, Yangtze Memory and Changshin Memory are developing rapidly in terms of production capacity and technical processes. Now more and more domestic manufacturers have begun to cooperate with Yangtze Memory, abandoning memory chips from Samsung, Micron, and other manufacturers. In contrast, American chip giants have begun to lose the Chinese market, and many orders have begun to be lost. There have even been reports of cancelling bonuses and reducing the number of employees. It can be said that they have begun to cut back on food and clothing. Whether it is Qualcomm's SOC chip or Intel's CPU processor chip, it was difficult to buy before, and even required a price increase. But now, even among advanced chips with excellent performance, a large number of them are piled up in warehouses and cannot be sold. Samsung's chip inventory rate once reached about 40%. Basically, only one of the two chips produced can be sold. It has to be said that the rapid development of China Core today has surprised many people, but judging from the current situation, this is just the beginning, and the next performance of China Core will only be more impressive. If you agree, please like it. Welcome to Repost, leave a message and share it.